When we think of revival, our minds are often turned to great evangelistic efforts and campaigns. But the revival that we're to talk of today didn't begin in that way. It began with a man. His name was Jeremiah Lamphia, who was given the responsibility of a failing church in a very downcast area of New York. As he was, began his work there in that city, he tried to reach out to the community that he was placed in in different ways, but none seemed to yield any fruit. As he began to pray and seek the Lord as to what the Lord would have him to do, he prayed these words that we find recorded in Acts, Lord, what will thou have me to do? As he asked the Lord that question, Mr. Lamphia received an answer he felt from the Lord impressed upon his heart. That was to begin a prayer meeting. To call a prayer meeting for businessmen that would be in the lunch break from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And as he advertised this prayer meeting and put the word out about it, the day came, the 23rd of September, 1857. He opened the doors where the meeting would be held and there was nobody there. Well, Mr. Lamphia very faithfully got on his knees and sought the Lord. And for the first half an hour or so, it was just him. But then another six people attended the meeting in total. And so the meeting was very much blessed from that point. The next time the prayer meeting was held, in the second week, another 20 people came. And the third week, there were 30 to 40 people. And weeks to follow, they began to have a daily meeting. There was around in October of 1857, 100 or so people attending. People that weren't even Christians, people that were lost, seeking the Lord in salvation. It was said of this revival that it had a few marks. A love for Christ, a love for all his people, a love of prayer and a love of personal effort. This prayer meeting movement, this revival spread not just where Mr. Lanthier was ministering, but all over the country of America. People had a desire to pray. And I wonder today, as we think of that question that he asked the Lord at the very beginning of this movement, which was, Lord, what will thou have me to do? I wonder, will you and I consider asking the Lord that question ourselves today as we pray and seek the Lord for his moving, for his spirit? Lord, what will thou have me to do?